Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be teaching you how to make this anime rain animation in Blender using Goo Engine by Dylan Goo. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Now we are going to start with the render settings. Make sure you are in EV and you have ambient occlusion and screen space reflections turned on. Next turn color management to standard. You will also want film turned to transparent. Next set your image size and change FPS to 12. You can render an FFmpeg or I would recommend an image sequence that can be put into a video format later. Next, create your surface. Here is mine, and you can pause to copy the texture I have made. Now that we are getting started, add a camera to your scene and adjust your focal length and turn on depth of field. You will want your focus distance to be close but not too far, to have blur in the front and back of the scene. Change your f-stop to 1.5 and blades to 10. Let's start working on the splashes. First, add a cube and go to Object, Quick Effects, and Quick Liquid. Resize the domain to make it closer to the liquid, then scale the liquid down and move it to the bottom of the domain. If you don't see anything yet, like me, check your timeline and make sure you're on frame 1. This will reveal the preview. Select the domain and change the resolution to about 64. Change the simulation method to APIC and narrow bandwidth to 10. Now we add in an icosphere. Scale it down and keyframe its location, rotation, and scale. Move the timeline to around frame 4 or 5 and lower the sphere below the liquid and keyframe it again. If you play the simulation, nothing will happen. So select the icosphere, go to physics, add fluid, change the type to effector, sampling to 10, and thickness to around 0.2. Add a force field and change the strength to about 60 and enable max distance and play around with it. 0.15 to 0.2 has some good effects. If you play the animation now, you will see it play out. If it doesn't, just use the right arrow on your keyboard to let it process one frame at a time. Now click on the domain, enable mesh, and change smoothing positive and negative to zero. And change the overall resolution to about 100. Play your simulation until you see a frame you like, then go to modifiers and apply them all. After that, delete the lower portion of the simulation and any scrap mesh left over. Do this about four times to get a wider range of splashes like this. Now you can pause the video to view the texture that I've made for the splashes themselves. Next, we are going to create the particles starting with the raindrop. Add a cylinder, scale it down, and make it thin. Add a bevel to pinch the ends, then bevel again. This is the raindrop. The splash is just a smaller version of the raindrop. Next, add a UV sphere for the water droplets. There will be two variations of them. You can now stop the video to copy the textures as I show them on the screen for each particle. If you haven't already, you will want to light your surface like so. Then we can add a plane and put it above the surface for the rain. Add a particle system, change the emission to 3000, render as object, and select the raindrop we made earlier. Change the scale and randomness to your peel. As you can see, we already have some nice rain, but we need more. So click on your surface and add a particle system. Change emission to 3000 and add some velocity, around 2.3 milliseconds, and render as our spray object, and change the scale and randomness to your likeness. Add another particle system, this time for the small rains. Change emission to 2200 and velocity to 2.1. Also add rotation and set to hair slash velocity and tweak that a bit. Render as your small ring object, then add the final particle system. This one is for the water splashes. Keep the emissions at 1000 and add velocity to the particles and rotation. And as always, render as water splash object. This will give you all the particles needed for the rain and splashes. Moving on, we want to create a new layer. You want to turn everything off and create a new collection for light orbs in the background. To make these, just add a circle, fill it, and add an emission texture. Change the location so that the camera blurs them and adjust the size and emission until you have the desired look. Now we start animating the water splashes. Take the splashes we modeled and textured earlier and duplicate a couple to your surface. Animate the process in three frames, meaning the first frame large like this, and you keyframe the location, scale, and rotation, and then move to the next frame and scale it down and rotate it and keyframe again. Go to the next frame and do it for the last time. This will create a splash effect that you repeat for the duration of the animation. Add a circle and fill it, then texture it like so. You can pause the video again to see the texture. I have two variations of these textures, one with a complete ring and one with a broken ring. You can have either one or two ripples per splash that you animate outward per frame. You will also want to animate the emission from one 
on frame 1 to 0.5 on frame 2 to 0.2 on frame 3. As you scale it out and rotate the object, repeat the process until you are happy. Finally, go to compositing and add both layers and combine them with the Z combine node and add a filter node set to pre-wit. Then you are finished. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well as support Dylan Goo for creating Goo engines. Thank you for watching.